Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing Ecclesiastes, or The Preacher, chapter 7. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression maketh a, man, a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is, that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight, which he hath made crooked? In the day of prosperity be joyful, but in the day of adversity consider. God also hath set the one over against the other, to the end that man should find nothing after him. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is just a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this, yea, also from this withdraw not thine hand, for he feareth God, for he that feareth God shall come forth of them all. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. For there is not just a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Also take no, no heed unto all words that are spoken lest thou hear thy servant curse thee. For oftentimes also thine own heart knoweth that thou like thyself likewise hast cursed others. All this have I proved by wisdom, I said. I will be wise, but it was far from me. That which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know that the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death the woman, whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I not found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Excuse me, one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that God hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ecclesiastes 7 is a very beautiful chapter. Um, I, wanted, I actually want to start with the first verse. There are a lot of verses that I thought 
were worth mentioning or offering analysis on. And so the first one here, Ecclesiastes 7.1, a good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death and the day of one's birth. So I like that first half of the verse, a good name is better than precious ointment. And so I want to say to this, if I, when I talk with my children you know, in the future about character, I write in my gospel that if wealth is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. And if character is lost, everything is lost. The idea of character being so important is worth emphasizing there to me because of the fact that one's reputation and one's good name, they, um, you can spend year after year after year building that stuff up and in one day it can be gone. And once trust is gone, it takes years if not decades to rebuild. And that is one of the most powerful lessons I would want to teach my kids is that never lie to me, never break trust with me, because trust when it's gone takes a long time to rebuild. And, and that's it. So that's one thing that I would want to share there. The next one um, that I, I wanted to talk about is Ecclesiastes 7 6 I like this verse a lot for as the crackling of thorns under a pot so is the laughter of the fool this also is vanity when I think about what this verse is saying I imagine a like a just like any any kind of foolish man who is like broke or you know, a sinner and, and is really struggling in life. Like by all accounts, he's actually like a complete failure in terms of like, you know, society measures success as economic success. And so this fool would, would be like a failure. And I look at it and he just has like a stupid smile on his face because he's always laughing at the fact that like, he's just like trying to find something funny to laugh at because to face the truth that he threw his own life away is too much for him. And so that's why, that's exactly like what I imagine, is a man who cannot face the truth that he threw his own life away. And so the verse again, it reads Ecclesiastes 7, 6, For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool, this is also vanity. So I envision some, like a man who has lived his whole life as a sinner. Like imagine the, um, the, the, the parable of Jesus with Lazarus and the rich man. The rich man is an understanding that he's thrown his life away. That instead of serving God, he's been busy serving the mammon. Just like the rebellious Israelites, instead of serving God, they served the mammon. They threw their own life away. And the idea being that this, you know, that they, they have like a stupid smile on their face because they're trying to find, they're trying to think that it's, say that it's funny, but it's not. There's nothing funny. You know, so that's what I imagine. And I actually want to follow that up with Ecclesiastes 7.5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Again, that idea that um, one of the, uh, I haven't published this um, on my YouTube channel. One of the sayings that I have um, as Lord Naren White is, it is better to listen to the wisdom of one wise man than a billion fools. And I say that because of the fact that those who truly want to become better, listen to the rebuke of those who are greater and those who do not actually want to be, get better would rather listen to those who are less because it makes them feel better and and you know that's that's something that i find is very true one of the other verses that i really liked was here in ecclesiastes 9 7, uh, chapter 7 verses 19 and 20 Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good, doeth good and sinneth not. That is a very powerful passage. And so with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked, my, my, worked at my chest, I worked at my legs, I have created, uploaded, and will schedule today's Daily Dive video for 10-14-23 and I have created many video game videos. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I wanna go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. 
like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.